Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Okay, so I'm going to start out with my larger photo here. This is the one I'm going to add, so I'm going to drag it in and make it bigger. I'm pressing shift as I'm dragging it out. Press enter. Come over to my layers and I'm going to turn on my left photo. And I want this layer right on top of that. I'm going to drag it out so that it covers all of the white areas. And so that I can see that, I'm going to turn off my left smoke. I'm going to make sure it covers all of the white areas because you have to be really careful about that or you will end up with a line right here. And I'll show you what that would look like if, if you had a line there. And you have to zoom in on this to see because sometimes it's hard to see without until you print it out and then you're like, oh no, you know, that line is showing. Like if you get it close, sometimes you don't notice, but you have to zoom in and check it or print it out. Do a quick print to see how it looks. Another solution is if you can't cover it, then you can add like, you can erase that area with a soft brush. Take this and I could add a mask and I could just take a soft brush, hitting my right bracket to make it larger. And I've already got a soft brush here, but you can pick a soft brush, right bracket, and then you can just erase that area. Make sure this pair area is black and then erase this. If you're using elements, you would just use the eraser tool and you would just erase that part of the picture because you want that to be soft right there. So you just need to be aware of that when you're doing these. Okay, so I've got my picture and then I'm gonna turn on my other areas for pictures and add my other pictures. I'm going to add this one to the top photo, top right. Turn this one off for now. I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to right click, create clipping mask. If you're using elements, you would come up to the top and do layer and then group with layer below and then it will do the same thing. So, and then I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to do bottom photo right and drag in my last photo. Turn that on. This is the area I need to cover. Press enter, right click, create clipping mask, and there it is. And then you can scooch it around, but just make sure this line isn't showing or you'll have to fix that. Then you're going to want to customize the word. So you just basically click your type tool and come in here and you can just change this. And if it's too big, then I'll come to my character palette or you can just change the numbers. And I'm going to change the color. The color is right here, so I'm just going to change it. You have to have it highlighted. Sample a color from the image. And then choose based on that. And now it's that color red of red. And now I'm going to come to my other, where it says eagles, and I'm going to change the stroke on that. I come to my layer. I'm going to look at the effects, stroke. And I'm going to choose this red. Click OK. OK. And then you can just change this type at the bottom to say whatever you want. And that is what it looks like with the soft edged photos. Another thing I want to show you is how you can change the order of the layers. If you wanted this image to be on top, basically you'll just need to press shift and grab these layers and move them around so that, you know, you whatever you want to be on top is on top and you just basically just move them around until you get it how you want that. Another thing I wanted to show you about these layers is that you can rotate and change the size that's rotating just by using the little, you highlight it and then you just wait until you get the curved arrow and then you can turn these however you want and you can also reduce and change the size and then you press enter and so you can basically move them around you can duplicate them if you have more photos you want to add just by dragging the layer on top of this little layer to create a new layer and then you'll have more of whatever shape you want and then you can rotate it or do whatever you want with it to add more Another thing you can do with these layers is you can reduce the opacity. So you can double click the layer and then just take down the opacity and you want to take down the opacity. If you just wanted it to be light, then you could do that. Or you could just reduce the opacity of the background as well and then you can see the background behind it. 
and you can also add to change it to black and white and I'm just going to click OK put that above that now my layer is black and white another thing you can do with the black and white is you can add a tint so you could make it like red or green or blue so that's kind of a neat thing to do another thing you can do is you can just drag a photo in size it however you want I'm going to move this up and just double click it and add a drop shadow so your photo can just be in there you know and you can just have that photo in there and turn off the other ones so there's a lot that you can do with it hey that was easy thanks for watching if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products you can always reach us at easydigitals.com have a creative day